from flooding in China to wildfires in Russia, strong winds in Australia, to stifling heat in the United States with water spouts over Miami Beach, Florida. It's the season of unusual weather. In Pakistan, floodwaters have swallowed whole villages and killed 1,500 people. It rained the whole day and night. We did not sleep. In China, torrential rains brought on the worst floods in a decade. Roads under two meters of water, landslides surprising drivers. I saw a rock falling down and then suddenly I heard a terrible noise and another boulder hit my car and I was stunned. In Russia, weeks of record-breaking heat and little rain are hampering efforts to extinguish wildfires. Flames surrounded and nearly trapped this group of volunteers. Analysts say the world should be aware of the consequences. This firefighter is. We pray to God day and night for rain to fall to change this weather. It is the only thing which can help us. Russia is the world's third largest wheat exporter, and officials there say the drought will cut the grain harvest by 25 percent. Grain exports could drop by a half this year. World wheat prices are already up nearly 50 percent since early June. Lester Brown is with the Earth Policy Institute. Grain prices are going up. Food prices are going to be going up. So what is going on? Is it simply a coincidence that this extreme weather is occurring at the same time worldwide? Or is it a warning of catastrophic climate change? The U.S. says the Earth has been warming over the past three decades, and the most recent decade is the hottest ever. Deke Art is with NOAA. We spoke with him by Skype. Even if the climate or the temperature trend were flat, we would see extreme weather. What we will see in a changing climate is that these things are more frequent. Um, they may be of higher magnitude, meaning more severe when they happen. Um, and that's, that is what we can um, truly see in a, in a changing climate. Lester Brown says it does not necessarily mean global warming, but... What we can say is that given uh, the projections for future temperature rises, that we'll be seeing more and more rushes around the world. The next time it may be in China, it may be in the U.S. Midwest and Great Plains, uh, could be in, in two or three of them at once. Then we're in real trouble. Brown says to watch for three key indicators, the number of hungry people in the world, the price of grain, and the number of failing states. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.